Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So for today, we're looking at uh, another viewer request. We've got our viewer requests here, we're a bit more organised now. Uh, we're giving up on the um, cluster bombing of aircraft because we just can't get it to work. We're moving on to Matt Peterson's request, tail hook pushing. Hey guys, can you try to push an F-14 Tomcat by its tail with another F-14 presumably, but that means, so what's that all about? Why would you want to do that? Well, it turns out it's to do with this, Pardo's push in Vietnam. Uh, near Vietnam, the Vietnam conflict. On March 10th, 1969, the sky was clear for a bombing run and both F-4 F4 Phantom IIs were hit by anti-aircraft fire. Amen's plane took the worst damage, hit his fuel tank, and he lost most of his fuel, and he could no longer make it back to the KC-135 tanker over Laos. So they decided the only way, rather than bailing out, was for the other chap, Holton, to push him. I know that sounds weird, but apparently this is all true push him. So he tried to push him, but the problem is as he got close to the other aircraft, the, you know, the ultra turbulence around the very close envelope for the aircraft made it impossible. So the way they got around it was they got the the guy with no fuel to lower his tail hook down, because these aircraft have tail hooks, and then the guy behind pushed that guy's tail hook all the way to the tanker. I gave him enough push, enough forward momentum to push him all the way. So um, come here and read Pardo's push if you want some more proper information on it. I've got to try that on DZS yes now. Okay, so first of all, myself and RC are going to try an F-18s. The reason F-18s is preferable is because they have a very accurate digital uh, speedometer. So if I manage to push him just say two knots faster, it will be able to read that very clearly. Whereas the F-14 analog speedo, it's going to be very hard to tell if it actually works or not. So we'll try in both planes, but this is the preferable plane. If you can put yourself on a barometric autopilot, ideally with, ideally with wings level, and you can not have auto throttle on, but just keep your throttle at a set point so that you're no longer increasing speed. So put your throttle so that it keeps on going the same speed it's going now. I'll try and push you once your hook is down, and we'll see if you get even one knot difference in speed, or if we just both blow up and see what happens. You got it? Sounds good. I'm pausing. Yep. Settle at 400 knots and keep it exactly where it is without adjusting your throttle anymore. Bung that hook down. <clears throat> Tell me when your speed is exactly settled. Mm. It's a very small, puny looking hook, but we'll do our best. Problem the F4s had is that as you get closer and closer to that airplane, the more turbulence you get. Now, that's not modelled in DCS, not to that kind of, you know, uh, 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 accuracy. It's, it's much simplified in DCS. So, luckily, at least that bit's not modelled. Here I come. Get ready for your first push. Um, you can probably go, ex if it's an autopilot, you can go external view and guide me in, because I don't really see my nose. Okay, you're good. Just right there. It goes through me, though. It goes not through model. me. It's not modelled. Right. Yep. Okay, so the answer is the hook's not modelled. We'll try the F-14 in a minute, but it doesn't look like it. Next, see if I can push the next best thing. and see if I can push your body. And you have to go in the cockpit, RC, and see if the speedo changes. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Alright, this might hurt. There's a lot of sexual innuendos here, but I'm going to frame for making them, RC. Just go be gentle. Oh. With no context here, it's, this is it seems very low. Any change? Nope. Okay, I'll try it one more time. You are damaged now, and I am damaged, but we'll try it again. Didn't even move. Roger. Surprisingly difficult to do this when the camera is on. Everything just goes out the window. I'm almost tempted to go oil pilot. Oh hey! Oh, oh. oh. my speedo changed. Wagner. <laughs> oh, it's a speedo it's change, down. but that is not sustainable. Put I could not put you to Laos. Um, right, well that's the answer. That was actually really easy. Should we go check F-14s now? Stand by, jumping in. Concentrate on the hook, Cap. Concentrate on the hook. look good. The hook is live. I'm going to ramp up the gas a little now. Hopefully Jester won't eject. Okay, mm -hmm. about 10 feet. And you're right over it. And not modeled. Not modeled? Okay, next best thing, let's try and give you a little love tap. I'll see, stand by, backing off. I'm not it's sure good. where to. I'll have to hit you in the booster, I think, because you've got a, a funny shaped tail, haven't you? 
Yeah. Trying to... Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> did you change your speed? Did you, did you change your speed? No. Ah, oh, let's try that again. Don't worry, I'll see. We've got this. Right, I'm going right. I'm putting it right in your nozzle. Get ready. Oh, the weight table is everywhere. It's so hard. It's going in. I'll see. It's going in. Oh. It's going in. Oh. <laughs> and he's changing speed. No. Right, I'm just going afterburner this time. There's only one way we're going to end this, RC. Right, I'm going to stick it in and go full afterburner. <laughs> stick it in gently. Yes sir. yes, sir. And wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Ooh. That is not My a sustainable way to get to Laos. Right. Um, that was really easy to answer, thank God, because the last one we've been trying to answer has like, taken our whole life and is impossible yeah. to answer. No, no, it's not modelled in any way, shape or form. And good, because it's a stupid thing to do. But um, <laughs> there you go. Um, it was fun. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.